Bam! Use a dead robot. Awesome. All right, next. Uh, let's go in here. Some items need to be charged with energy before they can be used. Pick up the laser pistol. Now use the recharging station nearby. The recharge station will juice up all of your energy-based items. Weapons, batteries, you name it. Awesome. Can deal with that. that back in my inventory here and time to shoot you nice let's recharge awesome use a dead motherfucker in the balls Weapons are not fine wines. They do not get better with age. Uh. The colored dot on the lower right corner of the screen tells you what kind of shape your firearm is in. Green is good, red is bad. To fight the effects of wear and tear, a soldier with maintenance skill can use a maintenance tool to improve the condition of his weapon. Just pick up the tool, open your inventory, and drag the tool onto your pistol. Remember that maintenance tools are only good for a single use. I see. Disposable maintenance tool. Huh. Weapon already in good condition. I see. I guess my gun wasn't in such good condition. Huh. Okay, am I missing anything? Got the recharge station, got the tool kit here. That's where the gun was, so I'm done. Good work. Now you're ready for the Marines. Take a look at the other training areas first before you enlist. They might just come in handy. Technical. Inside, we'll teach you the basics of some technical skills you'll need in the Navy. Alrighty. What's What's happening? You'll notice when you're in the cyberlink booth, we'll provide you with a temporary cyberlink. The object in front of you is a container of nanites. Nanites are consumed whenever you perform technical tasks, such as hacking or repairing. When you pick up the container of nanites, they do not go in your general inventory, but are instead displayed in use mode on the bottom left of your screen. Walk over to the keypad by the door and try out hacking. Use the keypad by right-clicking on it. To the right of the number pad, you'll see an orange tab labeled Hack. Left click on the tab. Text will appear indicating the difficulty of the hack and any bonuses that apply. Click on the Start button to begin hacking. You'll see a grid of nodes. Clicking on a node will either turn it bright or dark. To successfully hack, you must connect three bright nodes in a straight line. Beware the ice nodes with the red outlines. If one of these turns dark, you fail the hack and you might break the item you're working on, or worse. You can restart your hack attempt at any time by hitting the reset button, though you'll have to pay the nanite cost again. Oh, okay. Legal core access. Ugh. What? Uh, I done fucked up. Jeez, hold on. Let's try this again. Repair. Start. Power surge. Oh, sweet. Yes! The item has been successfully repaired. You can use it now. Alrighty. Sweet. Cost three nanites. Interesting. 50 nanites. Let's try this again. Gonna hack it. Gonna start it. Roof successful. <gasps> yes, this one? Sweet. 20 nanites. Alright. Uh, 
Let's see. I'll grab some more, even though they're going to take them from me in the next module. You can use nanites to buy items from replicators. To use a replicator, right click on it. Then left click on the item you wish to purchase. The item you purchased will Please drop into the slot below. Make sure you pick up your purchases before you leave. Thank you for choosing value wrap. Mm. Thank you for choosing value wrap. Thank you for choosing value wrap. You're welcome. Awesome. Guess I'm done here. You learned the basics of the technical skills. There are several other technical skills you'll learn throughout the course of your career, such as repairing items and modifying weapons. The cyber interfaces for these tasks are similar to the hacking interface. Before you enlist in the Navy, try out the other training courses. They'll be useful. <clears throat> well done. Inside, you will learn how to reach out with your mind. <coughs> Do not let fear block your path. Interesting. PSI skills. We've provided you with a the red bar at the lower left of your screen tells you how many side points you have. Side points symbolize the current ability to use your side powers. Side hypos replenish your side points. Try using a side hypo and watch your side points increase. When you've reached your maximum in side points, move to the next station. I use them again? Oh. Huh. Huh. Alright, my side points are full. Thank you. This Psy amp amplifies your side powers and lets you project them into the real world. To equip it, pick it up, and then hit the tilde key. Firing the Psy Amp activates your currently selected Psy Discipline. You currently have access to two disciplines, Cryokinesis and Kinetic Redirection. Go into Use Mode and click on the arrows on the bottom right of the screen. This will cycle through your available Psy Disciplines. Later, clicking on the arrows above the number to the left will allow you to select Psy Disciplines from higher tiers. Use cryokinesis to destroy the robot and kinetic redirection to pull that nanite container towards you. Be careful. Holding down the mouse button can augment the power, but holding it down for too long will cause burnout, which will damage you. If you run out of side points, use another side hypo. Interesting. Kinesis I pull. Oh wow. Let's knock him over. Bam! Bam! Motherfucker! You got fuck I'm gonna pull you toward me. Let's see what's up. Let's see what's up. Hold on. Can I? Oh, you little bastard. Interesting stuff. Give me that. Time to exit. Mastery of the mind is a slow but rewarding process. Return to this area if you need more guidance. Okay. Before you enlist in the OSA, it would be useful to experiment in the other training courses. Already did, motherfucker. 